Hi, so what I wanted to do was the cheapest but most powerful micro quad for the price. So here we have a build that cost 105 euro and it's based on the Arfan 95. So the idea was to have something that is more powerful than the Lizard and the Arfan but also cheaper. So I hope it will work well and uh, First, uh, we can go through the piece I've buy. So, it's amazing, it's all we need to make a quadcopter. So first, um, I took the Arfan frame, because uh, it's cheap, uh, it's very light. And I also like uh, the look, because uh, I wanted a drone who looks nice too. And i rather that look than the one of the Lizard. For the motor, I took... Uh, the Gilles Tech uh, Flame because they have more trust than uh, some uh, of the uh, other we find on Mini Quad. And for instance, um, here we with uh, those propeller, uh, the Gem Fan, uh, it's the 2035. Uh, with those props, we have 220 gram of trust with those motors and. Um, for comparison, with the lizard, the lizard has only uh, 118 gram of trust, and the regular often has a uh, 160 gram of trust per motor. Then we have the flight controller. So I took the HGLRC uh, F310. Because uh, I wanted to do as cheap as possible, so it's not the best, it's an F3 and the, and the ESC has a 10 amp and a 12 in burst. And those motors in the maximum power take 11.8 uh, amps, so I thought it would, uh, it would be alright, we can have maximum power only in burst, but... Um, yeah, and I think it will be good enough for the use I want to do uh, with it, so uh, yeah, so I choose this one. Maybe it's a mistake, we will see uh, after the build and in the test. So it costs 30 euro. Then uh, I have uh, this little receiver, and, uh, it's the Aurora RC, I took this one because uh, it's rated for a long range. And finally, I have a camera that is more powerful. That was an issue of the original Arfan. So I took a better camera that has a 200 milliwatt uh, signal, which is, uh, well, probably the best in the all-in-one you can find right now. And uh, it has also a whip antenna. All the parts are listed in the description below. and. Um, now we can start the building process. Yeah, it's very small to work on. All right, so here it is, it's finished. Uh, I have skipped a bit uh, the building because I ran into a few issues uh, to configure Betaflight with that uh, board. Um, there are a few things that have changed. Uh, while configuring, uh, I think I have overheated the camera, so I had uh, 
to take uh, another one that I had. So it's a bit uh, lesser good one, but it's it works and it's fine. And I have other again uh, the last one. Um, one thing to note too with uh, this board, I don't have the OSD. I thought I had an. Uh, and yeah, if I knew I would have taken the F410 um, that has the OSD. So yeah, now I am on 2S. I have uh, the Genes um, 520 uh, mAh uh, battery. And uh, we will do a little test. I also have 3S that we will test uh, just after. All right. All right, here we are in 2S. Into us and in a horizon mud. And here I am in a crow. And it flies very, very well. It is really, really stable. Even if I am in a crow mud. Yeah, very impressive. Very happy of it. So here is the DVR with the bad camera that isn't focused and uh, with the good one I have reorder. It should look uh, way sharper and also uh, have a better reception. I think the performance are very similar to a 5 inch prop uh, quad quadcopter and also the feeling when you use it. It's uh, very close, so the only real difference is the autonomy of the battery and uh, you have more something like 4 minutes while uh, flying normally and with uh, my 5 inch I have something like 7 minutes. It is uh, very easy to fly, it feels like a big one but without uh, the issue that comes with a big one so it's quiet it's not scary for the people around and um, I think it's less dangerous too as uh, the motor has uh, less torque and smaller propeller I don't think you can hurt someone as you can with a big one in conclusion I am very happy of it and I really recommend it <laughs>